What is up everyone? Welcome to something a little bit different today. Um, I've been looking forward to doing this little video ever since I won the auction and it's something that I thought would be really different and if you guys are interested in the old stuff and the videotape stuff, the retro formats and the retro tech and that, I thought it would be really interesting. So Jess and Eli have gone to the shops so I've got about an hour here in the living room um, to, to do this and to fiddle about with uh, the contents of this box. So without further ado, let's dive into a little bit of a crazy retro spiral. I know this video isn't going to be for everyone, but if you haven't checked out my previous video about Betamax, I'll put a thing on the screen here. Go and check it out. It's a bit long, but uh, I chat about my recent new hobby of collecting Betamax format videotapes and how much I'm enjoying it. And this is sort of another step in that hobby. Today I got the parcel through the door. I won this on eBay for about 20 quid. And there is also something that I won from the same seller in this parcel that has nothing to do with this video, but I'll show it anyway. Basically for around 20 quid, I won, I think it's about 20 or maybe 19 uh, blank Betamax cassettes, but they're not blank, they're old blanks, and they've had stuff during the early 80s recorded onto all of them. So loads of old films, from the TV in the 80s. I'm hoping that there's gonna be loads of old advertising, loads of old BBC logos and eye dents and things like that. And that is half the reason why I got these. And plus I saw on a few of the spines of the tapes that there are some pretty good films that have been taped off the TV. So for me personally, I've never had the, um, the luxury of seeing a Betamax tape that's been recorded from the TV back in the day. So, why not? This stuff pops up on eBay all the time, but as I say, this one sounded like a particularly good deal um, because of how uh, there were certain films in here that I recognised as films that I'd quite like and things like that. So, talking aside, we'll talk more later, let's dig into the box. So this is actually wrapped really well, folks. We've got a box within a bubble-wrapped paper sort of outer layer. Very impressed with the packaging from this seller. So, here we go. I can see some of the tapes already. I've been so excited about this. Let's pop the box here and take a look at everything that we've got. So, one thing that really attracted me to this auction as well, another thing that attracted me was these aren't just any blanks, these are Sony blanks, which are obviously Sony are the pioneers of the Betamax format, and uh, it just makes me very happy to have these Sony blanks. And having Betamax tapes in these tiny cardboard sleeves, they are considerably smaller than VHS tapes. A lovely little package of uh, well, once was blank, but is no longer blank material. So this is an L750 cassette, which will store 195 minutes, which is pretty damn good, actually. Um, it goes up to L830 on here, which stores, uh, just stores. That's sort of a modern thing to say, isn't it? It's not a hard drive. It will, uh, you'll get 215 minutes of recording time from an L830. So we have one uh, L750. We've got an L750 Scotch video cassette here. Not all of these are Sony, but lots of them are. An L750 HG high grade video cassette. Fantastic. Nice range of different tapes in here, folks. Another HG, HG, that's kind of difficult to say, L750. We've got a Memorex video cassette, and this is in sort of like a plastic type case, which is, can't figure out how to open, but we'll look at that in a little while. Here's the other auction that I won, by the way, folks. Um, I won Nightmare on Elm Street from the same seller, so he's just bundled it into uh, this box which is very cool but this is not the subject of this video but Nightmare on, Elm, Nightmare on Elm Street pretty good find on this rare format wow this is a lot we have another L750 this one is BASF 
not too sure. We have another L750 Sony. These are pretty much all L750s. Hmm. <laughs> Aliens. Aliens is recorded onto this one. Fantastic. So we've got all of those and we have a whole host more blank tapes in this box from pretty much all sorts of different brands, but a nice lot of Sony, which is good. There's a TDK here. This is an L500. We have a little L250 Sony in a slightly different packaging. More Sony L750s. Plenty of Sony L750s. A Tensai, Tensei, whatever that is, L500. Another Scotch tape. More Sonys. And we've got, to finish off, a Sony L500 and the final Sony L750. So, a lot of blank tapes. And uh, don't worry, this video isn't just unboxing blank tapes. This is going to get a whole lot more exciting. So, I'm going to draw one of the curtains, get it a bit darker in here, and we're going to power up my little machine over here. So this video is going to primarily be handheld, folks, so I'm sorry about the shaky camera work and whatnot. Um, but this is my Sanyo VTC 6500 Front Loader Betamax VCR, and it is a beauty. If any of you are familiar with these machines, you may notice that this front membrane looks absolutely brand spanking new. You will never ever see a front membrane like this on a, on a VTC 6500. Um, when I got this serviced, I was lucky enough from the guy that serviced this, he knew somebody that was um, designing and manufacturing replacement membranes for these machines and I was lucky enough to get one so it is it, oh, it looks so 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 factory I do have the front door for this as well folks it's just off at the moment because Eli likes fiddling with it um, but this is not a video about this VCR I do plan on making a dedicated video about this machine one day um, I just want to know a little bit more about it first I want to use it quite a bit more before I make a dedicated video on it because I really want to talk in depth about the machine anyway we're gonna power it on it is now powered on and we're going to power on the TV now unfortunately I don't have a lovely big bulky retro CRT down here that would be the icing on the cake to look at these old tapes but uh, nevertheless we're going to take a look at a few of these and see if we can find some old school adverts and things so I've divided these into piles piles of um, stuff that I'm going to show you guys stuff that I may show you guys depending on how much cool stuff we find on the other tapes tapes that I can understand the labels but don't necessarily think will be that interesting to show but who knows what's on the tapes you know but I'm just going by what's on the labels and then there are two tapes that I can't read the writing on the labels so they're for investigation but the first one that uh, we're going to show because it screamed out at me right away for such a cool film that's been recorded that is Aliens which is of course the sequel to Alien this is on a standard Sony L750 I do have some of the high grade tapes in there to take a look at but we're probably not going to be able to tell any sort of difference um, now some of these will need rewinding and stuff so let's pop it in and re rewind it right to the beginning in it goes and I've got the remote here rewind I'm just hoping that none of these cassettes are gonna mangle up my machine this machine is in fantastic operation it's been fully serviced I'm not going to say too much because I want to save a lot of what I want to save for the video specifically about this machine but it's been serviced by an ex Sanyo engineer and he is pretty, mu pretty much a Betamax VCR genius and uh, I'm, I am over the moon with how this machine performs, I really am. Okay, we're there. I'm going to do a little fast forward and then a play, obviously just to get past that horrible, um, likely to be mangled beginning of the leader. Okay, this is meant to be aliens. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we got a trailer here. Now, it's just dawned on me that potentially 
these films could be recorded from a different VCR. It's not necessarily all off the TV or any off the TV. This one specifically looks like it's been recorded from a tape. Yeah, this one's been recorded directly from another video. So here we have it. This is Aliens playing now. Let's fast forward to get into the film a little bit. There we have it, Aliens. So it was obvious by the CBS Fox logo there. So this is a direct duplication of another tape, which is cool. Not too bad at all. So that, that, at least we know that. This could be the case for lots of these, but I'm hoping that we'll get some stuff recorded off the TV. And one, one thing that we should get, let's put this one in the done pile. Let's have a look. War games, can't wait to try that one out. But we should have, aha, kid stuff. Now this is quite likely to be recorded from the TV, in my opinion. So let's see what we get with this tape. <laughs> Popeye. This picture is sort of less than 4 by 3 Check that out, guys. Let's fast forward a little bit. <laughs> there goes the bank. That's what you call Rob in a bank. It says fast forward through Popeye. Ah, we need the poo. <laughs> Pretty typical of a kid's tape, I'd say, folks, quite a bit of wear and, uh, of course, it's, uh, like, layers and layers of stuff recorded over other stuff. Quite a range on this tape, folks, quite a range indeed. But none of it... <coughs> Apologies. None of it that watchable, I'm afraid. It's pretty worn, pretty worn indeed. Well, whoever was recording this, it looks like they're pretty damn on it in terms of stopping and starting. Because that was a perfect, uh, perfect stop there. Got a bit of a gap here. And now we've got audio only. Get some video back. Well, that's the end of the kids' tape, guys. That was very, very well recorded. Um, as I said, there's no in-between the programmes, which is what I'm quite interested in with this. It was just perfectly, well, I say perfectly, it had been recorded over something else, but it was pretty pretty well recorded. So we're going to give this one a go. This is one of these high-grade Sony tapes. This has war games on it. I assume it's going to be the same story as Aliens, but we will see. The good thing about this one is it's been rewound. So let's check it out from the beginning. It's highly likely that whoever recorded these had a friend with a VHS uh, VCR and maybe they were renting or whatever and uh, they would record onto beta because th that's the VCR that they had or whatever and uh, they'd have copies of the film then or maybe they were just lucky to have lucky enough to have two VCRs in the household do you know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my TV onto 16 by 9 mode because there's something weird going on with the aspect ratios here another perfectly recorded tape straight into the film, even better than the last one. No trailers, nothing, just straight in. Literally, the beginning of the tape is the beginning of the film. Nothing missed, nothing extra. Very good, and this uh, this tape has held up pretty well. It looks really, really good. Looks just as good as any of my um, off-the-shelf rental tapes. So this is totally watchable for us one day. Fantastic. Well, judging by the start, anyway. Now, here's one that could have potentially been recorded off the TV. This is Zulu. I believe 1964. Let's give this one a whirl. It's in an L250 case, but it's an L750 cassette. Play. It's like an Irishman that give his name to a rotten, stinking middle of nowhere hole like this. And here's Zulu. We're looking. Where are we?
Yeah, gonna rewind a bit, see how this one begins. No way, guys, it's happened again. Absolutely perfect beginning. Oh man, just my luck to get somebody that could r seriously record well, you know, to get someone who was on the money. Ah, so there's another one. Zulu, whole film on that tape, um, I assume, and looks to be in good quality as well. So that's the fourth tape we've tried out. So actually, let's make little piles here. Um, Zulu, good to keep, good to watch. What have we got here? War Games, good to keep, good to watch. This kid's tape, this is in the... Uh, this is in the I don't know yet pile, and uh, we've got Aliens, which I also assume is a full film good to watch. So, what else do we have in this pile, then? We've got Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Let's take a look at this one. And see if it is what it says on the tin, which I expect it will be. Play. Go. Did my son. There he is, folks. Harrison Ford. Heard him before we saw him there. This one looks a bit worn. Yeah, a bit of wear there. Let's crank her back right to the beginning. Let's see how this one starts. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Same story again, guys. I mean, this is just, you know, becoming a bit of a pattern now. So in the machine right now, we should have the famous Dr. No. First ever James Bond film, Sean Connery. Let's take a look. Hey, hey. At midnight. So now, here is a wonderful battle between 007 and Dr. No. First little bit of sort of um, link between, you know, TV programs. I believe this was recorded off the TV. It certainly looked like it, didn't it? Brilliant. This is a keeper, folks. That makes me happy. Dr. No. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to get slammed with copyright, I think. This one says Temple of Doom on the box, but the tape looks absolutely thrashed. What does it say on the spine? Can't even make that out. Sort of felt pen. Let's take a look at what we've got in this strange one. It's in one of these weird little boxes. They're quite hard to open, but pretty nifty little boxes. They kind of open invertedly, so you've got like the tape sits there, but that's the flat bit, and then the it gets covered by the lid, so it's like opposite to a normal video case. Let's see what's on this. One thing I'm going to do after seeing testing all these is put the correct sleeves on the correct tapes because they are a little bit all over the place. For instance, War Games earlier wasn't on a, a high-grade tape. It still looked very good, though. Right, what do we have? Got something. So that one seems to be audio only. Either that or the picture is seriously messed up. Can't seem to get a picture out of that one at all. Um, I couldn't recognise the audio either, so that goes with the kids' stuff to figure out. What have we got here? Elephant Man. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what tape this is inside the sleeve. This is 
another Sony tape, L750. Okay, let's see what we've got on this one. So guys, I'm gonna put this video on hold for a couple of hours because the guys are back and I'm gonna continue recording when little man's in bed. But if I can find my uh, remote, wherever I put it, honestly can't find it now. Aha, here it is. I just wanna show you guys one thing that I discovered on this Elephant Man tape. It is indeed recorded from the TV. It is indeed recorded from BBC One and we do indeed have some retro 80s BBC goodness. Check this out, guys. I love this. Now, a little later than scheduled, our film on BBC One, a true story of courage and compassion with John Hurt as the Ellen. Let me just rewind a little bit. It's already really good, but we've got a bit of news here. Check it out. I'll turn it up a bit too. Those are the details that we have at the moment, but of course we are getting reports uh, by the moment. Newsnight is continuing on BBC Two, and I'll be back with the latest information here on BBC One after the next programme at about 12.40. Now, a little later than scheduled, our film on BBC One, a true story of courage and compassion, with John Hurt as the Elephant Man. So there we have it, and we've got the Elephant Man recorded off of TV. Obviously this is BBC, so there's no adverts, but that is cool. Just to see that spinning globe there is really, really awesome. So, as I say, I'm going to put this video on hold um, for a second. And I will be back with you guys very shortly. So I was just showing Jess the kids tape, the uh, one full of Disney segments, because she knows them much, much better than me. But what I'm gonna do is put in a different tape. I was really pleased that we found that um, BBC segment on that one. So it shows that at least some of these have been recorded from TV. I'm gonna pick another one to take a look at from this pile. So. I'm gonna pop this one in. It's got uh, Silver Bullet written on the side. I don't know if that's a film or what, I've never heard of it. Jess has never heard of it. So we'll see. At least I don't think I've heard of it. Let's see what this one is. Oh. Let's have a look. Wow, okay, fair enough. Did you see that, Jess? No. <laughs> right, I'll rewind this while I change my camera battery. After a fresh battery and a little bit of Googling from Jess, this is apparently a werewolf film from 1985. Here we go. Now we're talking. A little bit of picture-ish. So the start of this one is definitely a bit iffy, but the picture's starting to come in. Here we go. Stephen King. Just go forward a bit more. This could be watchable at some point. It could become watchable. It doesn't look too bad now, it's just a little bit rough at the beginning. But that's another one to add to the pile, I reckon, because this is going to be a full film. Awesome, and I've never heard of that, so that's another cool thing about buying these lots. You discover films that you've never seen before. So yeah, this has definitely had a fair bit on it. So this is one of these Sony L750 high-grade sleeves, and this is the only tape that I've got that has any indication that it is actually high-grade on it, and that's the stick-on label here, so even that could be wrong. It's got Wish Me Luck on the label, which I'd never heard of. Jess has just Googled it, and apparently it's uh, a, a TV programme that ran from 1988 to 1990. So definitely kind of late use of Betamax there. 1988, you know, still uh, still around, but, but not really. So pretty interesting. Although if someone had dumped a lot of money into one of these machines in the early 80s or the mid 80s, then... Uh, if I was in their shoes, then I would still use it to record well until it, well into the 90s, if I was even around back then, because you'd spent so much money on the damn thing. So let's take a look at this one. 
don't know this TV show at all, but we will see if it plays. No contact at all between anyone on this circuit except through me and Jules Corrier, and you'll come here for your instructions. Good -o. This is rather a jolly place. Were you dying to come out, or did they have to twist your arm? Huh? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rewind this one to the beginning because if it's a TV show, it's recorded off the TV and uh, we're likely to get a little bit more sort of bits and bobs from before the programme, maybe, if we're lucky. Tonight, our new statesman, Alan Bastard, returns with his own political humour of a certain brand. And after that, Melvin Bragg is here with the South Bank Show. Now, though, it's wish me luck, and Liz is beginning to assert her authority. <laughs> this one is all over the place. Yeah, this one's pretty rough, folks. That can go on the get rid pile, I think. Although, before I get rid of any of them, I will check all the way through just to make sure there isn't any, you know, little tiny interesting little bits on there. It's not as if I'm going to find any of the missing Doctor Who episodes or anything. This one's in decent condition, guys. Not too bad at all. What was it called, Jess? Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia. 1962. Hmm? That's what you read out. Yeah. This one's actually not jumpy at all. A little bit sketchy at the beginning, to be expected, but other than. Ooh, special effects. Oh dear. <laughs> yes. Oh, wicked. That's on the keep pile. Why the heck not? We'll watch this one day, Jess. Another film, Jess. Oh, Jess, this doesn't look old, old. Do you want to Google it? That can definitely go on the keep pile, eh? Yeah. Keep pile is growing. So we've got two more films here. We've got Explorers and Raise the Titanic. Is that right, Jess? Yeah. I'm not going to test those out. Uh, Explorers is apparently a sci-fi. I haven't heard of that either. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give my machine a little break now because it's been ejecting and rewinding tapes all day. So we've looked at the majority of these actually and these are all decently watchable um, full-length films which is great with potentially more to come so absolutely awesome uh, the only disappointing thing is at this moment in time even though I haven't watched through all these um, is I was expecting a tiny bit more recorded off the TV kind of content on these tapes but um, we're actually looking mainly as if um, a, they recorded quite a lot of off another machine, so maybe a friend's machine or somebody else in the house, as I was saying earlier, or um, they recorded off the TV but were really on the money with the timer, so you don't get much from before the film. Although, I haven't looked after the films, 
as in after the film finishes so there could be some juicy goodness there before the recording was stopped um sort of logos and um and links and news reports or whatever so yeah generally pretty successful folks i'd say a bargain to get those films for that money let's just turn this off and give this as i say a bit of a rest because it's an old dog and uh I don't want it falling apart after doing all of this. It's never quite had a workout like that. Normally, we basically put a film in and watch it, rewind it, and then that's it until we next watch a film. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I know this video has been a little bit different from the usual video stuff, but I thought you guys might like a quick look at some of these blank tapes that I got from eBay. There could well be another eBay auction from myself, re-auctioning some of these off potentially these ones to the sides um, because it's a shame this uh, L250 with the Disney segments on they're not full Disney films but um, this one's quite worn this would be pretty cool to have but it's really really worn so that's a shame so as I say could potentially be auctioning some of these off again you know just get a fiver or something for them um, but there's definitely a good few here to keep which I'm happy about so again thank you for watching everyone and as always I'll see you in the next video.